In this Java tutorial, we are going to learn about objects and references. Towards the end of the video, we're going to learn about how we can apply some of these concepts to polymorphism. You'll need to have a basic understanding of how memory handling works in Java for this video. For more information, check out my video on the subject. There will be a link in the upper right hand corner of this screen. Three important things to know. First, when declaring a reference type variable, we specify what type of object it will refer to. Second, when we initialize a reference variable, we give the variable a reference or pointer to an object on the heap. Third, we may create a new object as part of the initialization. Let's write some code. First, we're declaring a variable x of type int array. Next, we are doing two things. We are creating a new int array on the heap and we are putting a reference to that object in the variable x. x itself is the reference variable, the pointer is the reference, and in this case the int array is the object. Let's declare another variable y of type int array. Here we're going to copy the reference from the x variable to the y variable. We can see now both x and y are pointing to the same object on the heap. Here we're doing it all in one line. We are declaring a variable of type int array. We are creating a new object on the heap. And we are putting a reference to the object in z on the stack. Let's look at this relationship of classes. At the top we have the Java object class. Next, we have the animal class, which is a subclass of object. Animal is a object. Next, we have dog, which is a subclass of animal. Dog is a animal. Finally, we have sheepdog, which is a subclass of dog. Sheepdog is a dog. Let's write some more code. Here's an example. We have animal Joe equals new animal. Next, we are creating a dog reference variable called Mr. Pickles and setting it equal to a new dog object. Joe is a reference variable of type animal and it points to an object of type animal. Mr. Pickles is a reference variable of type dog and it points to an object of type dog. Now, let's look at something interesting we can do with polymorphism. Here, we're declaring a variable spot of type animal, and we're having it refer to a new sheepdog object. This is legal because sheepdog is a subclass of animal. We may have a reference variable refer to an object of a different type as long as the object it refers to is a subclass. So since the reference variable is an animal and the object is a sheepdog, this is perfectly legal. A reference variable of one type can point to an object of a different type if the object is a subclass of the reference variable. So let's look at some examples. If we had a reference variable of animal and an object type of animal, this would be fine. We can always have a reference variable point to an object of the same type. Next, let's look at another example. We have a reference variable animal and an object type dog. This is fine because the object dog is a subclass of the reference variable type animal. Third, we have a dog type reference variable and a sheepdog object. This is again legal because a sheepdog is a subclass of dog. Finally, let's look at this example. We have a reference variable sheepdog and an object dog. This is not legal because dog is not a subclass of sheepdog. For further reading, check out this website or type Creating Objects Oracle into Google and choose the first result. In future lessons, we're going to learn more about the limitations of polymorphism and how we can do it to improve our programming.